Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 2.03. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about recording audio from your Macintosh computer and getting it into Bitwig Studio directly. Now, if you're on a PC, it's actually easier to do this. And what you'll have to do, though, is probably record into Audacity, which inside of Audacity, there's a way you can route it so that you can do that automatically without needing any extra software or having to download a plugin or anything like that. And I would encourage you to just search in YouTube or something like how to record audio from Audacity into my PC. And chances are there'll be tons and tons of videos that will show you how to do it. I was doing that like five or six years ago, and I assume the process hasn't changed too much. But since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on Mac, and it's a little bit more complicated. And right up front, let me warn you that there's a chance that my audio is going to cut out on my microphone, and that's all on my end, and that's just because I don't have my screen share, uh, you know, all of those routings perfect. But the process is going to be the same for you, and I'll explain it before I actually make those changes, in which case I might be cut out and you'll lose me. So why would you want to record audio from your computer into Bitwig? Couple of reasons. Biggest reason is for resampling purposes. So if there's something on either YouTube or anywhere really on a VLC player or just somewhere on your computer and you want to capture it and bring it in directly, you can do it and then you can resample that, do something creative with it or put it in a song. You hear people do that all the time. You'll hear clips from movies or TV shows and they've sampled that and put it into a track. Um, the other thing is that it's going to record in wave. So it's going to record basically exactly what you're getting from that source. There's a lot of like MP3 YouTube converters. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the audio file that's already been super, super compressed by going into YouTube and it's going to compress that even further. And so you probably don't want that. You want to get as good of quality as you possibly can. Obviously, anything inside of YouTube has already been compressed but at least you're going to be getting um, the WAV file from that compressed version, which is nice and is going to be the best quality you can get. So let's walk through how to do it. First thing you need to do if you're on a Mac is go over to this website, which I will link to in the description, and you need to download Soundflower. Once you do that and you open up the application, which is called Soundflower Bed, you're going to get something like this, and all you have to do from this stage, from this source, from this menu, is adjust it so that your output is going through whatever output you're using. So for right now, we're gonna use the Duet, but you could just as easily use the built-in output. Now the next step, and here's where I might be cut off, is you need to make sure you go into your system preferences and change it so that your sound is going both its input and output is through the sound flower, okay? And at this point, you're probably going to lose me. So let me just walk through the next stages of what we're going to do so you know. Once I've adjusted my system preferences and have changed my input and output to Soundflower, I'll go into Bitwig Studio here and I'll adjust my preferences. And in my preferences here, I need to ensure that my input device is coming from my Soundflower 2 channel. Okay, so once you have this installed, every time you open up Bitwig, you should have the option to choose Soundflower 2 channel. All right, from there, I need to make sure I set up my audio track. So we have our inspector panel open here, and I've renamed that input to Soundflower, so I'll select that, and then we should be good to go from there. So let me just now actually go through and do all these things. You might lose my voice don't worry about it. The process will be the same for you. And if you have any problems, you can just let me know. So I'll be going in and changing my system preferences here. And now I need to look for a video on YouTube or something. Ich 
glaube allerdings, dass Versuche Proti äh, politischen Protest mit der äh, Popular Music, also mit der Unterhaltungsmusik zusammenzubringen, äh, deshalb zum Scheitern verurteilt sind, weil die ganze Sphäre der Unterhaltungsmusik, auch wo sie irgendwie modernistisch sich aufputzt, so mit dem wahren Charakter, mit dem Amüsement, mit dem Schielen nach dem Konsum äh, verbunden ist, äh, dass... All right, so we've grabbed our audio. Let me just go back and change my system preferences. And now hopefully you can hear me again and I'm going to be able to play back what we have and what we were able to record. Obviously, you need to make sure that you adjust your settings that you're recording at a high enough level. Not too difficult to do, but now if I go ahead and I play back, let me just make sure my preferences are all set up as they should be, we should be able to hear what's going on. Allerdings, dass Versuche Proti äh, politischen Protest mit der äh, Popular Music, also mit der Unterhaltungsmusik. All right, so that's basically all there is to it. And now we have that inside of Bitwig and we can adjust and we can edit and do whatever it is we want to do to the file. Just be sure that when you are recording in that you try to get your levels good beforehand. Obviously, I didn't do that in this case, but this wasn't a real type situation where I was trying to resample the audio. And I hope that was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. It is pretty important to follow those steps. Um, otherwise, you probably won't get the audio into the program. So again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next lesson.